All right. Okay. So let's start. A bakery and a library are 120 meters apart, which you can see here. They are located between Hong's house and JR's house, as shown below, over here. Okay, over here. The bakery is exactly halfway, so this is the midpoint, in between the two houses. One day, Hong and Jaya started cycling from their houses. That means cycling towards the library. And Jaya cycled 70 meters per minute. And Hong has to cycle faster because it has a longer distance covered. Okay, So how much further did Hong cycle than Jaya? Looking at this, now the fact is both are cycling to reverse each other. So the common mistake will be, oh, the difference is actually 120 meter. But if you take this part and you draw over here, so this is the midpoint and this is 120 meter. <clears throat> and when you look at this direction, L actually travels, um, J actually travels less than the midpoint. So the midpoint is here and is 120 meter less. So now you take 120 plus 120 to give you 240. Okay, so that's 240 km for answer A. Okay, so for answer B, how far is Jaya's house from the library? Okay, so right now in this case, is a question of um catching up. Yeah. So for the facts that H has to catch up with J, because J is traveling at a shorter distance, H is traveling at a has to, has to cover a longer dis distance. So that means H speed must be faster, right? So for the fact that the H is traveling at 50 meters per minute and H has to cover 240 km. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, is it km? Sorry, my apologies. It's not km, yeah? It's actually meters. Okay, so this one, let me just erase. Okay, erase the K. Erase the... Okay, everything is okay. Yeah, for the fact that H has to travel more and cover a longer distance, so H speed must be higher right so what does the difference in speed means it means that in every minute h actually covers 15 meters more okay and there is this amount of time that h will be able to cover a total of 240 meters more with this difference in speed which also means that in every minute, H cycled 15 minutes more. So the question to ask yourself is, in how many minutes H, has, H is able to complete and cover 240 meters more so H can meet J? Yeah. So this is like a rate question. 50 meters, one minute. 240 meters will be 240 divided by 15 which is 16 minutes. So what this means is from start to end, from start to end, H actually took 16 minutes to finally meet L. And what this also means that the traveling time is actually 60 minutes. And how much H takes is the same as how much L takes. So when we are able to know how much time that L takes, sorry, how much J takes. So from J to L, you draw a triangle, 70 for speed, 16 is calculated from the top. You can find a distance, which is 17, 70 times 16. And you get 1,120 meters, and that's your answer.